All right. So let's look at some uh, environmental indices. So things that we can measure. Okay. Again, I'm not going to ask you about any of these. You don't have to memorize any of these graphs, right? But I want you to see that um, there's something significant happened in 1950s. So if you look at the 1950s, right? Uh, you know, things started turning badly for, well, environmentally speaking, right? You have carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, ocean acidification, temperature. And so what we call this is the, is the great acceleration. You can see the, the slope, you can see the curve kind of speeding up, right? Kind of speeding up uh, after, you know, around, around this time. Right? Okay, let's look at another graph here. All right, similar story, um, forest loss, marine fish capture, and so on. Okay, so what happened? Right. Uh, what happened in the 1950s? Well, uh, the war ended. Right? So uh, I think, believe it's 44, the war ended, World War II. And so after that, we stopped killing each other and then we first started developing our economy. Right? So that this is the trade-off. So this is my point here, right? We, we see this environmental disaster, but what do we get out of it? Right? What did the world got? And the world got GDP. Uh, by the way, GDP uh, is called gross domestic product. Right? Uh, we're not going to talk too much about it. Don't worry about it. But overall, gross domestic product, just think of it as income. Right? Think of it as, uh, so GDP is calculated by taking um, the value or the, basically the price of all the things that's produced in the economy. And we just simply add it up. Right? How many cars are produced, add up the price. How many houses are built, how many... Uh, you know, uh, wheat, all right, rice, and so on. We add it all up, that gives us GDP. GDP per capita is we just divide it. So that's per person. And we can see that people, individuals, are getting more and more wealthy on average, right? Everybody is getting, everybody's getting more wealthy here, right? This is a, a very fast moving, fast moving curve, okay? And uh, if you look at, you know, if you look at what countries, especially developing countries, but basically every country, right? What do they care about? They care about GDP, right? We talk about GDP growth all the time. Uh, we get worried if uh, GDP uh, the growth decreases or slows down, right? Why? Right? Why do we care so much, so much about, so much about GDP, right? Because remember, GDP is just a measure, right? Well, what, what is this measuring? Uh, what is it measuring exactly? Well, it turns out that we don't really care about GDP. What we care about is what it represents. Okay, so GDP uh, is highly correlated to well, living standards, living conditions. Okay, uh, I found this. Uh, just uh, I want to sh share this with you guys. This is a uh, old uh, political campaign from Herbert Hoover. Right, chicken for every pot. Right, this is 1928. Not that long ago. Right? It's less than 100 years. And a chicken for every pot seems like a moonshot. Right? This is, uh, this is uh, you, know, um, you know, to them, it seems un unobtainable, right? Uh, you know, everybody can have chicken right? uh, almost every night. And yet today, we do have chicken. I mean, chicken is not even a big, that big of a deal, right? When chicken is on sale, it's like a dollar, you know, you know dollar fifty a pound. Right? We progress a long way. Our GDP has increased tremendously and it allows us to have more and more things. Okay? So it's a good measure, okay? and not a direct measure. Uh, statistically, we will call it proxy. It's a good proxy for, uh, for living standards. Okay? But now for us, right? chicken, beef, you know, GDP, we might not care about GDP as much. Okay? But what about uh, developing countries? Okay? So let's see here. Um, so I spend a lot of time in development economics, right? and these are kind of the, the things I used to focus on. Stunting. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, who never heard of it, uh, stunting is the phenomenon where a child uh, is not meeting their potential height. Okay, so is they're stunted, they're shorter than they should be. Okay, uh, as opposed to wasting, which you might have also heard if you look at these developing um, nations. Uh, wasting is when they don't meet their their ideal weight. So if they're too skinny or too, you know, they have too little mass. Okay, so stunting and wasting. Let's look at stunting. Uh, stunting is, uh, uh, is a tremendous problem. Uh, child mortality, uh, uh, child mortality, IQ score, which has a tremendous effect and impact because uh, if your IQ is low, you become less productive throughout your entire life. Uh, so therefore, even as an adult, you earn a lot less. 
uh, in a country, if a significant amount of the population uh, is stunted, right, uh, then you can you know, uh, have a severe decrease in GDP. Okay. Uh, here's a picture from uh, Tanzania. This is a village where they found or they, they, they located the tallest girls uh, in that village. Okay, and they line them up here. Right, these are the tallest girl in the village. And yet, right, that line there you see in the back, right, that is the median height or the average height of nine-year-olds around the world. Right. So stunting, is a, stunting is, is a huge issue. Okay. Now, what does stunting have to do with GDP? Okay. Do they have a relationship? Right? If we plot stunting against GDP, what do you expect the graph to look like? Okay. So think about it. So if I do GDP on the bottom, Okay, so GDP, let's say GDP per person, right? So per capita down here, and then I put stunting here, right? Do we expect to see it go down, go up, or nothing, or they have no relationship, right? Oh, well, here we go. So GDP per capita, because we want to do per capita because we have different countries, country different sizes, okay? What we see here is that as, as countries become wealthier, right, as the GDP goes up, right? the um, uh, uh, prevalence of stunting goes down, right? It goes down by a lot, right? It goes down by a lot, right? So uh, if you look at the United States, right, countries like developing, the, the, sorry, uh, developed countries, right? Uh, you know, with high income here, there's, there's almost, there, there's almost no, there's almost no stunting, right? Uh, with a very, very little few exceptions, right? Qatar, sure, it might be outlier, high income, but also, um, you know, a bit, a fair amount of stunting. But overall, right, we see this, we see this relationship, right? And this is hard to measure, right? How do you measure stunting? Right? But, uh, or what I mean is, how do you know, right? Um, you know, if your country, you know, um, how do you find an index, right, that we can think about stunting? My, my point is, right, nations, and we should, you know, we should care about GDP, not because we care about actual wealth, but uh, not just stunting, but overall, right? a GDP, a rise in GDP uh, indicates a rise in living standards, in health, in well-being. Right? Maybe not so much for us, right? If we increase our GDP more, we might become less healthy, right? Become lazier and we eat more junk food. But for the developing countries, right? Um, this is, right, this is, uh, uh, this is really important. Okay, just one more graph to kind of look, I want to share with you uh, these blue ones, right? Uh, so the blue is not good because that's where uh, uh, that's, that's where there's a lot of kids um, that experience stunting. We're going to see where they are. Right? Now, I wanted, wanted you to think about this uh, because um, you can see like the light green, light green as well. And, and as we go deeper into this chapter, right? This is the trade-off, right? We, 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 we want to protect the environment and we want to, uh, um, the conflict is between the environment and GDP. However, um, GDP does matter, especially in these, you know, in these developing countries, okay? All right, let's move on.